Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGages.com. Today we're taking a look at my PFD navigation gauge. Okay, this was designed to complement my PFD uh, Garmin gauge and you can put one below the other one or you can run this one on its own. Okay, I'll start off by covering what the buttons and dials do. So first of all, the S1 button will bring up the information page so you can see the gauge version number. There's a link here to the manual as well. You press S1 to turn that off. S2 toggles the wind direction by 180 degrees. So there's some debate on whether the pointer should point towards the direction the wind is coming from or it should point in the direction the wind is moving. So you have the option of changing that around depending on your preference. S3 and S4 are used to set the trim center. On, on the right hand side here you have the indicator for where the trim is currently and the S3 and S4 will center that. So I'm just going to take the pulls off my sim, and turn off the autopilot and now I can move the trim and then I can use the S3 or the S4 to center the trim. Okay, so S5 is used to change the compass dial from a detailed dial with lots of numbers or a less detailed dial with less numbers. So depending on your preference. S6 is used to change the transparency of the left and right bars. And there are four levels from off, light, medium and dark. Once again, personal preferences. Okay, the left dial is used to change the autopilot uh, heading, so that changes the heading bug. And the right dial is used to change the CRS value. Okay. So now I'm gonna cover some of the bits and bobs that are on the gauge itself. So you have the uh, outside air temperature, you have the true air temperature, you've got your autopilot heading, which is the digital version of you know the pointer for the uh, autopilot heading. You've got your CRS um, degrees value, which matches the CRS needle. Uh, so you've got the trim here. You have your vertical speed down the right hand side as well. You have the DME, which is showing 6.8. 15 um, miles to the DME. You have uh, fuel showing 96% fuel remaining and also you have the fuel remaining as a time as well so 23 hours 34 minutes left. Uh, you have the wind direction as I mentioned earlier um, and you have the wind direction in degrees and also you have the wind speed there as well. Okay, so you've got your eyeless needle and you can see I'm way off center at the moment for my approach and you have the glide slope indicator as well, which is means I'm way too high as well. Uh, you have a green pointer which shows you your VOR position and if you've got an ADF tuned that will show as a blue pointer on the outer dial as well. Okay, well that's pretty much it. I've gone over this fairly quickly. Uh, there's one last thing I will show you and that we have some indicators down here on the left hand side. You're currently seeing that the autopilot is active, but you can turn the autopilot off. If you turn the flight director on and off, you get the flight director as well. But also if you overspeed or stall, which I'm just about to try and stall the airplane now, you should get uh, red indicators to show that the airplane is stalling. Um, and also you'll get an overspeed as well. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you found it useful. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And come back and check out some of our other videos soon. Thank you.